when I was in elementary, I also sold song hits, lyrics to my classmates. This is Nina Cabrera, a self-made entrepreneur, and today I'm here to talk about how I started Everybody. Ever since I was young, I have always been entrepreneurial. Among my stints were I would sell my mom's homemade pulveron to our village neighbors and friends. And back when I was in elementary, I also sold song hits. Lyrics to my classmates because during that time, song hits were such a hit that I would print lyrics from our computer and then I would ask my papa to photocopy them and then I would sell each lyric page for one peso each. Fast forward to 2015, I created Colorette. I saw a gap in the local makeup industry that I wanted to fill. Back then, global brands were everywhere but makeup shades weren't really made for the Filipino lifestyle and skin tone. Colorette started with lipsticks and now we have a bunch of SKUs that were made by Filipinas for Filipinas. Everybody came about because again, I felt the need to fill a gap in the market but this time for swimwear. It's actually a very funny story. Everybody started from a hate comment that was left on my TikTok account. Buti na lang daw lipstick in endorse ko at hindi bikini dahil wala daw bibili. Actually, Parang gusto ko tuloy magtayo ng bikini line dahil sa comment mo. <laughs> they said that it was a good thing that I was selling makeup and not swimwear because nobody would buy. And from there, it fueled something inside of me. I responded to that comment and I asked my audience whether or not they would be interested to buy something such as a swimwear that would fit them and not the other way around. When I posted this on social media, I got an overwhelming amount of responses. Apparently, people are already looking for swimwear in their size and that couldn't be found in their current market selection. For everybody, we carried 10 sizes from 5XL up to 2XS. We also made designs that would flatter every body shape and size, hence the name Everybody. Having established everybody has made me come to a realization. Plus size people aren't really rare in the country. It's just that we haven't been really given the opportunity to showcase ourselves. I'm actually wearing it right now. So this is an expansion from our first release, Feeling Perky Lion. I like it that it's so versatile. You can wear it from the beach, to the pool, to your meetings, to your preview interview, and even to the office of the vice president. As soon as that hate comment, and as soon as I saw the overwhelming amount of feedback, I already started doing market research and hiring for everybody. Among my first hires is our fashion designer, Kimball, who helped me with all our silhouettes and all our sketches. But that didn't end there. A lot of market research has been done, a lot of testing, and even to the point of me personally wearing the products and doing a few kilometers of swimming just to make sure that our products are really versatile and you can wear them anywhere and for whatever function you see fit. Although I already have experience in establishing a beauty brand, little did I know that it would be very, very different when it comes to a fashion brand. I was not really equipped with the technical and all of the fashion insights that I needed, which is why I was very, very thankful to Kimball who has helped me a lot in terms of fashion technicalities and everything that I needed to know when it comes to creating various pieces of swimwear. My experience in establishing Colorette has definitely helped. Brand building is among my strengths and 
when I started conceptualizing for everybody, we already had a tone, we already had a vision, we already had the mission. So I guess that really is something that my experience with Colorette has brought to the table for everybody. Number one, you should really know what you're getting into and you know how to do it. This is exactly why early on in the journey of establishing everybody, I really look for someone who is well-educated, well-informed, and is very adept in the fashion industry. Number two, don't just establish a business for the sake of having a business. Look into the market, find the gap, and fill that gap. You should know the needs of the customers that you want to fill. Number three, starting a business is the easy part. Sustaining it would be harder. So don't expect that your business will become easier after you've started it because it's not gonna happen. The bigger your business is, the more problems you get, but the more fulfilling it will be. You just really need to power through it. Aside from the expansion of our Feeling Perky line, we're also actually launching our fitness line. Late last year, I've restarted my fitness journey and I came to realize how important it is to work out with fitness clothes that are actually made for you. That's it! Thank you, Preview, for inviting me to share how I started everybody. Follow us on our socials, everybody.ph, and me, at Danina Elaine. Until next time, bye!